everyone and welcome back to another video. So as you saw in my previous episode, uh, part 19, I ripped everything up. I was doing the electronics and I ripped it all up and it has been removed because of the radiuses. So I'm back putting the points in. Now I've had to <clears throat> rework these a little bit. The holes may be not quite in the right location, but I've now got two of the servos put under the board. And this is what I'm talking about with my configuration utility in the Merg kit. I am going to adjust the servos so that they can position the point correctly, ready for when I want to fire them off. So in the utility, I'm just going to start moving one of the locations and hopefully you should be able to see that the servo is moving to a position. And I'm going to toggle it the other way. So you can see it suddenly shoots the other way as I try aiming it for the other direction. Now I want to just touch it into the position with maybe a couple of clicks one way and the other. So I've set those positions now and I can test them. I'm going to test the off position and the on position like so. And I can also adjust some of the speeds to speed them up and slow them down to make the point blades move at a different rate. So Weirdly, you do this toggle in it by a few numbers and it actually makes it a lot, lot slower. Now that could be way too slow. So I can speed that up. I normally sit around about the 235 mark. So I'm going to, that's because I actually put the wrong number. I'm gonna make that 235. And you make it two, two. 229 which is the other one is and I'm going to just test it again so we move them one way and then the other let's just try that again that's going across is that almost in place I'm going to do a few more nodges hopefully that is in so I can do a on off a slower position. So the off is at 242. So I might just just touch that a little bit more. Just so it sort of slams into it, has it in place. There you go. And you can just do fine adjustments to it. So there you go. I've now put in two point motors. Seems to have taken me all day to do this. And yeah. Hopefully I'm going to do the rest of it, but we can continue the work. So hopefully you should see that the polarity also changes now when I switch. So it shows 16 volts, but that's because I have to measure it in the AC because it's obviously a rectified wave or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, that is now working quite nicely and I'm happy with that. They should toggle as well when the power goes on running what they call a sod event, start of day event. The other ones over here do do exactly what they're meant to do and then all the lights are meant to come up on there as well to show their correct orientation. But um, for some strange reason, uh, that is not doing what I wanted to do. But I'm sure with a little bit of extra effort, it will all do as I require. So I've done a little bit more. I've added my double slip in and a set of points. So these would now be just here, the main up and down loops. Uh, this goes off to um, the kind of sidings, the goods yard or Stobart yard freight area. And this would lead up to an incline, which would take you up to the next level. So anybody who's actually ever wired up a double slip they are rather painful. So the first time I did it, I used the DCC Concepts IP motors, and of course everything never, well nothing ever worked. And the reason after a little bit of reading is I realized that when you're moving these sets of blades, you have to toggle this frog and vice versa. So when you've got a DCC Concept system, a DCC Concept IP motors, you'd effectively, whatever was uh, moving this particular point blade across, the frog wire would go over to here. So that's all fairly straightforward. And I spent a little bit of time yesterday just 
going through the four possible routes and checking that the, the frogs actually did switch to where they're meant to be going. And so far, it seems to work. Although I haven't actually run anything over this as a loco, I have been able to run this kind of little tester uh, cleaner, the Pico Pico cleaner that I had does run across those okay. So points are sort of done for this particular area. The next decision I've got to make really is what do I do about the board? I've, I mean, I've got um, some straights which is going to go off here. We've got some curves and this is going to go as an incline. I was thinking about cutting this board down um, to build it up, but there will be up here will be another level which is going to obviously be built on, on this. So I may just leave this board. I was toying with cutting it. Um, I might consider cutting it along here so it goes across those beams, but I'm not really sure what purpose that would actually have for holding it. These are markings from the previous uh, setup that I had when I realized everything was going to go a bit askew. So I'm going to leave that for another video. Got everything pretty much plugged in. Uh, a lot of the stuff is using these kind of quick release connections that I've got just here. Might be a little bit different to see, but I've got them just there. So I'm using a number of these quick release sort of items that I can easily remove if need to be the boards to do some work on them. Um, and away we go. So everything is wired up. And we've got a spare one over there, which I plugged in originally. And at the moment I'm not using but yeah, so everything else is in a place as it should be. I've got some wires going through the board here, mainly because um, they weren't long enough to reach here successfully. So yeah, everything's looking good. I need a little bit more um, sort of cable tidying up management around here. So just here is the main electronics. It's the Canmio and a relay board plugged into that as well, which is obviously providing all of the frog switching and servo controls. So the last thing I need to do for these is just to put the all effect sensors so I've got feedback of where the points are so that I can build that into the control panel. So that's another little task to be done. All in all, I'm quite happy with what I've done. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So if you haven't, just make sure you hit the like button. Thanks very much for staying to the end. And don't forget to hit the subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell to be told immediately every time I put a video out. It's goodbye from me for now. See you again soon.